Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a early LEGO Minecraft 2022 set review. Today we are looking at set number 21180. This is the Guardian Battle, and it has 255 pieces and will be retailing for $24.99 USD or $34.99 Canadian beginning on January the 1st of 2022. And I don't really throw this term around a lot. This is one of the greatest Minecraft sets of all time. Actually, maybe for Minecraft I do, because I just feel like every th single wave now, there's at least one set that blows me away, and that is this set. The value that you are getting in this set, I cannot stress to you enough, is 100% worth the price. You might look at this and you're like, the build's bad, but in the mobs, we've already gotten some of them, blah, blah, blah. You don't understand how rare some of these mobs are in the LEGO Minecraft's history, as well as all the new things that we're getting in here. It is insane, the set. It is one of the greatest, if not the greatest we've gotten in a while. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's take a closer look at this set. And here we're going to start with the side build. And it's crazy that this is kind of the side build since the main build is all of the mobs that you're getting, I'd say. So anyways, here it is. And this is like one of the archways to the ocean monument, which I really love. Um, I think that it's cool because I think there's a few of the archways leading on up. So you could add this to your existing ocean monument. You've also got some sea lantern pieces there, which I like that they're building out of that color. You've got some kelp growing up there and there, as well as some seagrass down here. All the different coral blocks. And I, I think that looks amazing. The different coral fans down here, I love because I recently, since last year's coral reef set, I wanted to make my own larger coral reef. And one of the things that I wanted to add was blue little flower pieces. And they didn't exist until this very set. Believe me, I did the research. There's never been a flower piece come in blue before. So that is amazing that we're getting that recolor here in this set. Uh, it's mostly made out of sand here, the base, as well as here, we've got some sea pickles, which if you notice, it's actually using a brand new piece that uh, I'm first seeing here used in Minecraft. And what this is, is it's actually this um, one by one tile stacked on top, but it's got a hole in it. This has been used for the candle in the largest set of this wave, but it's cool that it is actually appearing here in this set and uh, that it is being used for small little things like the sea pickles. So I think that's really, really cool and just spinning it around here. Now you can actually take the glow squid this is what the instructions actually tell you to do. And you take the glow squid and you put it there uh, at the top. So that's pretty cool that it does have all these little jumpers all around. Really, you could put on any stud that's shown uh, to attach the glow squid. So I thought we should start with the, the big one the Elder Guardian. And there is actually, I think, up to three that can spawn at an ocean monument. So it's cool now that in my collection, I've got two. I want to go out and get a few of these sets. So it's not unrealistic to have multiple of them. So I love that. And it's almost the exact same build. The only difference is on the inside, it's actually using some of those pieces used for the sea pickles, um, which you'll see in a second with another mob. But it is so cool to see this back, the Elder Guardian in such a cheap set. Like you don't understand that ocean monument set now is so expensive. This coming in the set is going to lower the price. I really didn't expect this. I would have thought the other guardian, which we'll see next, but the elder guardian included is crazy. It is actually on this stand here, which is on the two by two plates. Now they're coming in transparent blue to represent water. It's appeared in a couple of the Minecraft sets. So it's kind of interesting. And then you've got the cylinder piece there underneath to hold this up. It is a little, heavy i would say in the back it does seem to fall backwards with the tail but that's okay it's this there to kind of support it but um the only difference also with this build besides the one that came in the other ocean monument set is the back tail the only difference is that this piece here uh this was actually using some gray like claw pieces there the one by one modified tiles and then at the top that was actually in tan, I believe. So it's just a little bit different, but the play feature, the rest of it is all the exact same. So what you do is you actually just move the tail here and I'm gonna hold it from the top to show you. You just move the tail back and it'll shoot out a spring loaded missile from the center in trans blue. I believe the printing here on this two by three tile is the exact same as before. But in case you wanted to do this, which 
you can if you want you can angle all these little parts here as well as in the back of the tail uh, if the spring uh, launcher isn't actually loaded you could move the tail about like that and here is the guardian exact same build literally the exact same from the other ocean monument set which is completely fine because it is perfect like i love this so much i really would just want to get a ton of these little guys because you always are swarmed by these there's so many of them there but i think the build for this is just really great again you can see how it keeps falling but you just got to touch it a little bit to actually have it stand up but the back here can uh you know flail about there in the back and all these little claw pieces can all move around and that is i believe the exact same two by two printed tile here is the glow squid, originally introduced in Minecraft Earth, which has since been cancelled, but was a Minecon fan vote, uh, I think it was last year, so it's cool that it's already in a set, which is amazing, and I actually drew this for a CMF series, and I'm so glad that it's here I, I think it's so cool the squid actually is exclusive to that other ocean monument set so the fact here that we're getting a glow squid is just like a cool i wouldn't say a reference or anything but it's just cool that it is actually appearing in another set with all of the other guardians now the squid is so detailed you could see here that piece that i was talking about before the same piece used for the sea pickles there is actually in this like bright lime green and uh it's there in in appearing on both sides of the head and i love that print on the two by three tile and just the use of like the turquoise pieces here i think works really really well for the glow squid and just to show you you could of course you know how they swim away you could actually close uh the tentacles up there at the bottom if you want so my goodness i need more of the set i need more glow squid so as if those mobs on their own were not enough to sell you on it We've got a brand new diver skin here and equipped with the new trident piece from the summer wave of 2021 Minecraft sets and a new skin, the diver skin, which is just crazy to me. Not only did they have all these new mobs, you've got a new skin here. Another thing that I drew in my ACMF series. So I love this set so much. I am probably very biased. But I think that the face print there with like the the mask, the, the scuba mask is amazing as well as the printing there on the torso. You can see how it's like the old scuba mask that like goes like it's so heavy and it goes down onto the torso. Really love that. But on the back, you've also got this little build and all these transparent parts so that you can have the axolotls. Yes, that's right. Axolotls already here actually swimming with you. So that is super, super cool. I'm going to remove all that just to show you what the back torso printing looks like there and how the printing carries on over to there. So here they are, axolotls, which if I'm being honest are mobs I did not expect to see, uh, at least not in the January wave. Crazy here. It's a similar sort of design to what they did with the silverfish in terms of it's very Minecrafty, which I think is honestly fine. I, I love just everything that they've done here. It's very simplified. And what's crazy is that on the front of each of the faces is actually a one by one tile which if you remove there uh, you, you someone's gonna find a way to like put this in a bucket i'm gonna try and do that right now so a bucket isn't included in the set but i actually went to some of my other minecraft sets and stole it from there now i've just actually attached it to this pink stud which i had to go into my own collection to grab as well it's not included in the set but because that is a one by one tile that of course means that you get two of them. So if you wanted to, you could go and put them all inside little buckets. And what I'd recommend maybe doing is actually adding a stud underneath there so that it can look like it's sitting up a little bit. But honestly, I think the one below that is better. But I'm just saying, you've got these extra tiles crazy that they're included and again if this wasn't enough i feel like that's the saying of this video you also get this other blue axolotl here and this dark yellow one which is just crazy so you're getting all three in a set here which is insane and underneath there you could see that is actually what it looks like and how i'm attaching it to this little jumper but how are they all here well, there you have it, everyone. That is my review of the Guardian Battle. And I think that it is absolutely insane, the price that you're getting here. Two old, rare, exclusive mobs locked behind a set over $100 at the time of retail. 
Now afterwards, after it's retired, even more so, a new diver skin, the new trident, you're getting new recolors of new pieces introduced in 2022, you're getting a new mold included here with the axolotls, three axolotls, you're getting the glow squid, which is one of the new fan voted in mobs, as well as the flower pieces in blue. What is there not to like about this set? I dare you to tell me a single bad thing about this. There's nothing. It is a perfect set through and through. Lego Minecraft, you outdid yourselves with this set. Thank you so much for creating this set. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I hope you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.